Halloween. Insert name here. So does everyone else. And except for that episode where we almost lost the Dormouse bobbing for Snickers and the cat thinking that real spiders would add a really awesome touch, you know what? pretty well. Especially when everyone stopped screaming at the spiders and we snuggled up to the pumpkin carved in a striking resemblance to Fat Elvis performing in Las Vegas circa 1966 for the annual reading of Allison's Nightmare in Wonderland. And although we can't all be with one another this year because the parole days didn't work out, I thought we could still all snuggle up around this year's winner of Graceland's Elvis Carving Contest and create some new spider-free memories together. So here it is, that snuggly moment you waited patiently for all year long. Allison's Nightmare in Wonderland. We're all mad. Who are you? Is it one lump or two? This story I tell you is totally true. Now witches and goblins, they scare me and you. The truth is, they scare Wonderlandians too. And everyone's dressed up, they all go door to door for Wonderland candy they're hoping to score. They don't get all freaked out, don't holler and scream. No Wonderland knows that it's just Halloween. You know, you're right. It would be awesome if Allison's Nightmare in Wonderland was a coloring book. A book filled with 12 pages of beautiful detailed illustrations. A spooky Halloween story. Hours of coloring bliss. A coloring book where you don't have to color inside the lines. I bet if a mob ever got its eye on Allison's Nightmare in Wonderland coloring book, it would look something like this. And that there would only be a few of them left on Halloween night. Well, you can add the Allison's Nightmare in Wonderland coloring book to your wish list for next year, along with those parole dates. That's it. I'm not going to get all mushy. See ya. P.S. The website is giving away some awesome prizes for best costume. The socials are wearing what they wear every day, which is kind of scary. 